we're at a really crucial time of the Savior's ministry right now. He's, he's wrapping up. He's done with his public teaching, and he's just celebrated what we call the Last Supper with the, his disciples. It's the Passover. He's, he's uh, observing the Passover with them. He's uh, in this upper room, and he's washed the feet of the disciples. He's identified who's going to betray him. He's uh, instituted the sacrament. And then we get, and we get all of that in the, the synoptic accounts, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. But in John, we get more. We get this, these incredible chapters, some of the most incredible chapters in Scripture, chapters 14 through 17, which seems to be the Savior's last opportunity to teach his disciples. And he really seems to be preparing them for the fact that he's going to leave them. They don't understand this is their last night with them. This is it. It's the end of this incredible three-year experience they've had with him. It's ending that night. But he knows, and he's trying to prepare them for what comes next. And so we get some of the most profound teachings he ever delivers, given to us by John here at the Last Supper. And, and why is John so unique from the other Gospels in regards to just the intimacy and the detail about this specific event? It's, it's a great question. John writes his Gospel differently than the others. The others kind of rely on each other and tell very similar things. But John has a different audience, and he really seems to be sharing kind of the insider's view, even though Matthew's also an apostle, uh, but, but John seems to be often sharing that insider's view and focusing on those things that, that seem to have meant a lot to him, partially just to him and his relationship with the Savior, but also that he thinks will be of, of great import and help to people who are already members, believers, disciples of Christ. And so he gives us kind of that, that deeper, meatier stuff. <laughs>